Lion and the Mouse. Here is a lion. He has a mane and tail. And roars with great pride. The lion is king both far and wide. Here is a mouse. A small little thing. He's afraid of almost everything. But this little mouse in the face of trouble can use his sharp teeth to bite and nibble. One morning, the mouse awoke. Soon, he felt a pain in his tummy. Oh dear, I'm so very hungry. Oh no, thought the mouse in despair. I can't eat rocks. Oh, this isn't fair. I must find food and fast. Otherwise, my energy won't last. Then he smelled something sweet. He looked up and saw something to eat. I can't believe what I see. Look at all the fruit on that tree. The little mouse tried and tried. But this time, luck was not on his side. Though he gave it his all, the tree was simply far too tall. Then the mouse noticed a big rock. I know, I'll climb to the top and then I'll be able to eat. Oh, doesn't that sound sweet? But the rock began to move. What a shock! The rock roared and had two big eyes. This rock is a lion! What a surprise! The lion roared, Naughty mouse, how dare you climb on top of me? I'm the king of animals, can't you see? I'm sorry, but I was so hungry. All I wanted was some fruit, but the tree is so tall and I'm so minute. The lion took pity on the mouse. I know you had no ill intent. Here now, little one, eat to your heart's content. The mouse was elated. I'm so thankful, so very grateful. I'm sure you'll see how one day you'll get help from me. <laughs> you help me? <laughs> how could that be? I am so big and strong. And you are so small. I'm afraid you're wrong. Off you go now, little one. I wish to sleep. Our time is done. A few days later, the lion was playing amongst the pines and ended up leaping into a thicket of vines. Oh dear. He roared, I'm in trouble now. Who amongst the animals can help me and how? How embarrassing to have such a thing happen to me, a king. The mouse heard the lion's cries and off he ran. This is my chance. I'll try to help and do all that I can. When the mouse arrived, he knew exactly what to do. I'll nibble at the vines through and through. Once the lion was free, he spoke to the mouse humbly. You have saved me. What a relief. But I must acknowledge that this is beyond belief. Who could imagine that one as small as you would be the one to help and come through? And now the lion has come to see that everyone, large or small, has their own special and unique ability. <laughs>